I'm 31 years old. I live with my girlfriend in Chicago and I work as a pedicab driver. I work at Cubs games and White Sox games and other events where there's a large gathering of people. We have such an active bike culture here. And that's one of the reasons I moved to Chicago. I'm really, really, really into bicycles. So I have a bunch of bikes in my garage right now that are all in various states of disrepair. At some point, I'm gonna try to get that organized into a, like a workshop kind of thing. Another thing I do is animal rescue. And that's something that actually my girlfriend and a friend of hers started. There's all these people leaving their cats in alleys or throwing them out of the house, or dogs, you know. And there's a, a real shortage, I think, of people involved. For me, it's a huge learning experience, and it kind of, it's also something that makes me more committed to, to animal rights. I started getting involved in, in activism in college, uh, not animal rights activism, just human rights activism of various kinds, labor issues, independent media type things. And um, I always said, you know, well, human needs come first. And then the, the, my friends, my activist friends who were vegan kind of just pointed out, well, why do you need to exploit animals at all? And they kind of helped me see that like, different types of oppression are connected. So it took me a, uh, it took me a few years actually to, to realize that a lot of human, human um, prejudices and, and forms of oppression are, the dynamics of those are, are very similar, pretty identical actually to the way we think about and exploit animals. I want to live a life that challenges uh, prejudice and hierarchy um, and kind of strives for equality amongst human beings and equality, equal uh, consideration for animals' interests as well. I, well, I, I used to, I used to see animals as food, you know, I used to um, eat uh, hamburgers and I never really thought about cows, but I was raised as a Hindu and, and I was born in India and for the first six years of my life when I lived in India, we were, we were vegetarian and part of Hinduism is respecting animals and not killing them, but when I thought about it later on when I was becoming vegan, I felt it was really, really inconsistent because although vegetarians don't want to eat animal flesh, they're still eating animal products, which involve a great deal of suffering and exploitation. So I wanted to not be part of that exploitation. My view of animals today is I, I look at an animal and I see an individual. Every time I, I see um, the other side of it, every time I, I see a McDonald's or a person eating meat or talking about it, like. I don't want to go back there because I was part of that environment and um, I'd rather get them to come to my side. Sometimes I'll, um, I'll, set, I'll work with other animal rights people and we'll set up a table with vegan animal rights literature um, at you know different events and so people will come to the table and they'll say things like, oh I could never be vegan. You know, I respect what you do, and but I could never do that. And and then they walk away, and I can't even ask why. Like, why do you treat me like some sort of superhero? I'm just an average person. Like, I'm just a dude who like wakes up in the morning, makes oatmeal, and then goes to work. And uh, there's nothing special about it. And but then they just they have all these preconceptions, and in a way, I can understand it because I was like that. You know, I, I, I used to say things like that and make all these excuses. I kind of leave it to other people um, to approach me rather than approaching them. But um, I'm kind of moving in more of a direction of I want to start approaching other people because what changed for me was my friends approaching me. You know, like they were the ones who were the animal rights activists and they were proactive and like talking, talking to me. And I'm still kind of at this point where I'm a little too shy to to kind of, oh, it's almost like there's like a line you're crossing. It's like you, when you cross that line, it's like you're entering into this realm of like evangelizing or something like that. And 
um, people don't like that. But that's how I changed, and that's how I think most people change is somebody reaches out to them and brings up the issue and starts talking.